I can safely say that Unique was the best thing that I ever did to try and get myself into Oxford University. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rosie and this is basically where I just talk to you about my life at Oxford and try and help you get there yourself. Today's video is about the unique summer course which I went on in 2015, my year 12. And I can safely say that unique was the best thing that I ever did to try and get myself into Oxford University. The Unique Summer Course is Unique's flagship course. They have other courses in spring. And you go for a week, you stay in a college, you do a subject that you've chosen, you have a tutor, you get lectures. It is basically like being at uni for a week. And it is rigorous during the day, like it is 100% academic but then in the evening there's really good social activities you even have a bop at the end of the week and yeah I just I loved it and so did everyone else who was on there. When I was on Unique I did Egyptology which isn't what I'm studying now and you don't have to apply for what you're studying now but you do have to put in like a I guess it was like a mini personal statement about why you should be accepted onto Unique to do that course so it's essentially like applying to Oxford and it's run by the university as well it is the only summer course that is actually run by the university and not an outside company and it is completely free yeah 100% free like travel food accommodation everything they reimburse you for everything like you get you get a whole meal every night, you get breakfast in a hall every morning, you get, or at least when I did it, we got a five pound tailor's voucher, which is like a sandwich shop local to Oxford. That it was, I couldn't fault it at all. They even paid my train fare so that you got your ticket and your receipt and they gave me 70 quid that it cost me to get to Oxford and back from Manchester. So Unique is meant for students from non-Oxford backgrounds, so it, goes off parents' income, it goes off what school you go to, how many people have previously gone to Oxford from your college, it goes off like the area where you live. There's a lot of criteria, um, but on the website there is, it does tell you all of the selection criteria, and it tells you that the main considerations are academic attainment, so they want you to get uh, the majority seven, eight and nines in your GCSEs, and predicted A's and A stars for your A levels. If you're from Scotland, then in your Nat Fives, this is an equivalent of A stars, distinctions, or one grades. Scottish people get applied because there is not enough of you at Oxford. There are some specific course requirements for grade. So for medicine, they expect seven GCSE A stars or equivalent. Uh, economics and management is the same. Biomed is the same. Geography, law and physics are all five eight stars or equivalent, so that would be eights and nines. Other considerations are the polar and acorn things, which I did talk about in the when I was looking at the statistics report that came out. But polar essentially measures the rate of progression to higher education in your area. If you're eligible for unique, then you need to be in one or two and you can find this out by i think they have a calculator on the website Essentially, it says acorn is a classification of residential neighborhoods which measures the socio-economic wealth of the area you live if your class does low socio-economic status background then you will be classed as acorn four or five did i say acorn so those are currently the like the biggest um, selection criteria. They weren't actually the biggest when I was applying so it mainly went off like your family's savings and how much they actually earn and how many kids was in the house and that that sort of thing. Um, so obviously yeah mm, now they seem to be focusing on like where you live which is good and bad because if you live in like a small house in comparison to where, what everyone else lives in in your area or if you're a first gen student and therefore I've never been to uni before and yet you are just happen to be in an area where most people have been to uni, then limiting. On the website it says 
Unique welcomes applications from disabled students and makes reasonable adjustments to facilitate their access to the summer school. Admission is based solely on individual merits of each candidate. So if for whatever reason you didn't think that you could apply because you have a disability, then do it. Just apply because it really doesn't matter. They will sort it out for you. On, on the website, it has a lot more information. Uh, it has your statement, whether you're on free school meals, in, whether you're in care, young carers, Northern Ireland, Scotland, or target areas, if you've worked with Target Oxbridge, and if you have done an inter-university programme. There's more information about all of those things on the website. Yeah, so enough about like how you get in. I'm going to talk about what I did and my experience, because you can find everything else on the website. So my course was in the second week of July and I got to train there by myself, which is scary but really fun. And I was at Jesus College, which is right in the center. So I was immersed straight into that really old Oxford feel. And I did Egyptology. Egyptology for me was just something that I thought was really interesting and it was also really undersubscribed, so there's only 10 places and yet only half of the people doing it actually applied for Egyptology, so they'd move people from other courses into that course to fill up the spaces. It was a lot less archaeology focused than I expected and a lot more language focused. We did a practice of what's called the OLA, which is the like Near Eastern Languages paper, where they basically just get you to like construct sentences and it's not real language learning, it's more problem solving. They just get you to work out how to do suffixes, prefixes, but all from just looking at how a sentence has worked. And it was hard, I can't even explain it. Um, there will be example papers of it online which you can have a look at. But basically we did half the week doing Egypt and half doing the Near East, so like Pakistan, Mesopotamia. We did hieroglyphics for three days and then cuneiform for three days, which is the like the written language of Mesopotamia. And it was really, really interesting. We had probably three lectures each day, two in the morning, one in the afternoon, off actual Oxford professors who have just done their research, who are really big names in the field. My personal favorite day was when we got shown around the Ashmolean and we got to go backstage where no one else was allowed. Um, and I've actually been taught since doing that actually on the Arcananth course by uh, the guy who showed us around and he recognised me, which was really nice actually. So for me, and from what I heard from the other humanities courses, we had to do one essay while we were there. Uh, we got given it on, I think, Wednesday and had two nights to write it, which in retrospect was actually really difficult. Um, two days to write something on something you've never looked at before. So I had to write an essay on the tale of Sunuhe, which is an ancient Egyptian like folk tale. And I really enjoyed it, but it was hard because you're just not used to writing in that level of depth or style. And then you hand your essay in the day before your tutorial and have, it was like it was one of three with an Oxford professor and they read through your essay, they discuss it with you, they discuss topics with all three of you and then sit down individually and like talk about your writing style, uh, what you might need to improve, what you've done really well, etc. And it's really, really helpful actually. Um, for the sciences, I'm just looking at the website for this because obviously I didn't do it. But you definitely have labs every day. Okay, so for chemistry, um, there's 40 places and they have lectures in the mornings and in the afternoons there's practical sessions in the actual undergraduate teaching laboratories so this will be the same for physics and I assume biology as well and biochemistry and maybe medicine it says it all on the website don't quote me on that but yeah it's literally jam-packed with stuff that you would do on an undergraduate course and it's completely free I hope it stays free forever because that was like the magic of it. Everyone that was there with you, you knew was from a similar background to yourself. And so you didn't feel intimidated by anyone who might be rich or posh. I miss it. I wanna do it again. If you want to apply, they have actually made the 
application a lot earlier. It used to be January, it's now early December. If you go on the website, they actually haven't like confirmed when the application's open, but it definitely says early December and the date to be confirmed. And applications close on the 4th of February. So you've got two months to write up an application, get it sent in. I would strongly advise anyone to do it, like regardless of whether you actually think you'll get on, just do it because you're not gonna lose anything. It's actually also really good practice for writing a personal statement because you don't get practice at that. That's something that you just, you just have to do and no one really knows how to do it because everyone's doing it for the first time and it is hard. And to have done this, whether you get on it or not, you have had that practice. So it's, yeah, it's, it's really useful. And the, the, the decisions are made in March. I think it was really early March because I remember being on one of those Haven Sun holidays in like the cabaret and I get the email and yeah, I considered doing karaoke. Yeah, I don't really have anything else to say. I feel like I might have just rushed through that, but I just wanted to talk about the course because I don't think enough people are talking about it. Maybe that's because they didn't do it, I don't know. It's a great, great thing to do and just apply. It's like the same thing as applying to Oxford. Like, you have got nothing to lose by applying. All they can do is reject you, like, which obviously hurts at the time, but you'll learn from that, and you can just go somewhere else and do just as well elsewhere. So, yeah, thank you for watching. If you have any questions about Unique, if you want me to do, like, a QA and a about my personal experience, like, what I got up to in more detail, then I can do that. Just let me know, either DM me or let me know in the comments. If you want to DM me, then my Instagram is at just a little Roo. And also you can Snapchat me at just a little Roo as well, as well as tweet. Yeah, thank you for watching. I've enjoyed talking about it. Bye for now.